The Kokoraz Educational Series is proud to present Weather versus Climate. <laughs> No, 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 no. You've got it all wrong. Weather and climate aren't enemies. There are differences, but there's no need to fight about it. Somos amigos? Hermano. Hermano. Oh. <sighs> so what is the difference between weather and climate? Weather's what's happening right now in the atmosphere. It's a combination of things like temperature, humidity, precipitation, cloudiness, visibility, wind, and atmospheric pressure. Climate is the statistics of the environment over time, which includes seasonal cycles, extreme events, and year-to-year -year variations. Climate describes the trends of the weather and lets us predict what will likely happen in the future. I think I get it, but if experts can't even predict the weather two weeks from now, how can they talk about the climate 20 years from now? There is an old saying, Climate is what you expect, weather is what you get. Okay. Suppose you need to predict the high temperature in St. Louis on March 16th, 2035. What's your guess? Well, I have no clue. Do you think it will be hotter than 120 degrees? No. Do you think it will be colder than minus 30 degrees? No. Then you're already using your climate knowledge. Some climate data will help too. Let's look at last year's temperature on March 16th. What do you think now? Maybe the high will be in the 60s. Let's add another year. Or maybe the 70s? Except that was an unusually warm year. Let's look at the past 30 years. Yeah. Uh, okay. With 30 years of data, climate tells us that the high temperature on March 16th, 2035, will almost certainly be between 40 and 80 degrees. What's the average? About 57? Yes! And that's the best guess for the temperatures on March 16th next year, or the year after, or the year 2035, at least until you get close enough to predict the actual weather for that date. But isn't the climate changing? Yes. Let's go back to our wrestling ring. We might experience an extreme wrestling event that takes us beyond the boundaries of the ring. If this kept happening again and again, we might decide to extend the safety area of our ring because we expect this kind of thing to happen again. Going back to our data, we can see that the average has changed over time. That's why climatologists usually use a recent 30-year period to get data as close to the current climate as possible. If we look at the high temperatures in St. Louis on March 16th, all the way back to 1930, we can see where the average has changed over time. In 1960, looking back at the previous 30 years, the average high temperature was around 54 degrees. By 1970, that average was 55. In 1980, it was down to 51 degrees. Now that average is up to 57. So if you want to know the climate many years into the future, you need to estimate the changes in the climate too. You can also think about it in terms of time. Climate includes weather over a long period of time. Weather is what's happening now. If you were to close your eyes and tell our wrestlers to move around, can you predict where each one is? No. But can you predict that they are somewhere inside the ring? Yes. So like weather tells me that I can wear a t-shirt today, but climate tells me that I better own a rain jacket for all the rain we get. Yeah, you got it. Climate is the upward trend of this stock I bought, and weather is the up or down price movement that's happening now. Yeah, that's right. I think you're getting it now. The climate also determines what you can or cannot do. You can't go skiing when there's no snow, right? So, I may not be able to know the temperature in North Dakota next week, but I could say with some certainty that it'll be colder than Florida. I also wouldn't want to try growing oranges in North Dakota either. Exactly. Now, you've told us the differences between weather and climate, and we know climate affects what we do, but what determines the climate in the first place? I'm glad you asked. There are four major things that determine your climate. Altitude. Usually the higher your altitude, the colder it will be. Latitude. The closer you are to the equator, the warmer it gets. Geography. Places near a large body of water results in higher humidity and more moderate temperatures. 
whereas desert areas tend to be just the opposite. Topography. Mountains can often block the wind, preventing air on the other side of the mountain from affecting the weather. But remember, any given day, any location may experience weather conditions that are unusual for the area, like an extreme weather event. So the climate is what I expect, but weather is what I get. Weather is the hook knit I just did, and climate is my afghan. Yes, that's another way too. Weather is the stunning dress on I have right now, while climate is my whole fabulous wardrobe. Uh, okay, I think we get the point. Climate is the whole building I'm working on, and weather is the girder I'm about to install. Yeah, I guess, but, but climate is my masterpiece painting. But the weather is this stroke, and this stroke, and this one, and this one, and this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, come on, you're, you're getting pain everywhere. Weather is the egg I'm sitting on now, but climate is my whole family. Now wait just one second, ducks can't talk. What about this? So that is So remember, weather can vary from day to day, and climate is the statistics of the environment over time, which includes seasonal cycles, extreme events, and year-to-year -year variations. And that's the difference between weather and climate. <laughs>